completely according to your requirements about aquarium miniatures. Remember to follow us regularly to get more choices and not miss the latest ideas. Of course, there are many great commercial products on the market. If these interest you, by all means use them. But if your budget is limited, or if you just love getting creative when it comes to DIY projects, there are plenty of great ideas that are affordable and easy to make. Plus, there's something very satisfying about doing it yourself. A DIY project will bring you more joy when you see the wonderful world you create. With so many creative ideas out there, you'll first have to seriously consider what you want. Think about the types of aquariums that interest you. The following are just a few of the many options you may want to consider. But don't just rely on these ideas. Instead, use them as creative springboards to think outside the box and come up with your own variations and new ideas. As always, share your unique ideas online with others. With some creativity, you can show your own imagination even if you opt for an aquarium or fish tank. There are a lot of very ambitious creative DIY projects out there. Most of these will require more time. DIY Decoration This is quite easy. And it can be a fun family activity in any nature getaway. Look for interesting rocks, gravel, seashells, trees, and pieces of driftwood that can be easily found in the wild. As long as they're clean and match your creature, they can add the perfect touch to your nature-themed habitat. In addition, they are often freely available in the wild. Just remember that only items that are safe for your habitat should be placed in the aquarium. Note that you should always ensure that any rocks, shells, or driftwood are compatible with the wildlife in your tank or the general ecosystem in your tank. Ask around. Do your research online or ask someone knowledgeable at the pet store if you have any questions. Certain rocks can affect the salinity or pH of water. Even natural wood may have been treated with chemicals and then discarded. This can be a contaminant if it is placed in your habitat without proper disinfection. There are simple options to make sure these objects are safe to add to your habitat, including sterilizing in the sun or under UV light, or even boiling the object in water. You can create a simple backdrop using any picture, paper, or poster attached to the back of the tank, assuming it's not a spherical bowl without a back. Remember that a backdrop is not just about aesthetics. Some fish and other animals require darker environments. Others will need colors that support temperature optimization. Dark backgrounds will often aid in creating a more natural environment. This can directly benefit your fish's health. You can also draw intricate designs with permanent markers or brush strokes on the glass of the aquarium. Using different colors, the entire tank can become your personal rug. If you intend to paint the inside of the tank, make sure you only use paints that are safe for your fish. There are specific non-toxic commercial paints on the market designed for this purpose. Make slash build your own decorations. DIY decoration. You can find certain crafting slash prototyping materials at the craft slash hobby store that can be molded to create your own unique structure. Make sure they are waterproof and non-toxic. Always consider the animals in your tank and the materials that could be hazardous to them. Read related topic, interesting aquarium decoration ideas. Common garden objects like flower pots, or household items like flower pots, or colorful bottles are clever ways to add realism and creativity. The hardware store offers unlimited ideas. Particularly the garden part will offer creative options. Consider using lawn decorations and how they might look underwater. Just make sure that whatever you put in the water is safe and doesn't contaminate the aquarium. Avoid metals that tend to rust and corrode. DIY Decoration There are some plants that can live submerged. The advantage of these plants is that they can be planted first and then planted underwater when they are ripe. With a little planning, these plants can be a creative way to add real vegetation to your habitat. Visit your local nursery to learn more about some of these options if you are not savvy with such plants. If you are not sure if an object is safe, it's best to isolate it in a separate body of water and monitor what happens over time. If it 
doesn't bleed or leak after enough time, or disintegrates over time, you can assume it will be safe. You will also want to consider that very small objects can be swallowed by some fish which can be fatal to them. Finally, be careful to avoid using any items that could injure your fish, such as decorations with sharp edges. If you find it interesting, remember to like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you don't miss the latest videos. Thank you for watching the video, see you in the next part.